the time has finally come to reveal the e-bike. It works, the battery is hooked up, all the parts are added, and I've even done a few test rides. I'll show those to you later, the very first ride on the bike. Um, but it's been fun, I've been riding it for about a week now, and uh, to and from work, it's downhill to work, uphill home, and the bike is working awesome. So without further ado, let me roll the slow motion, nice music, bike reveal montage. the montage is over let me show you what I did to this thing a lot of it looks pretty much the same from when you know I walked through each step of what I was going to do but uh, let's get a close-up look of exactly what's going on here so first and foremost we have the throttle it powers on if I push that lever down it's gonna go we got our brakes that cut the power as well as use the normal brakes to brake I've added an LED light for nighttime. That's crucial. And I added a phone holder because I wanted to know how fast I was going. And I downloaded an app that helps me with that. I'll give you a screenshot of what that screen looks like. All right. So I ran the cables. Let me go to the other side. I ran the cables along the crossbar Originally, I had them all tied into the bag, but because I man uh, mounted the control unit on this bar here, I had to run them into the bag and then back out <clears throat> and then down into the control unit here. So I'm actually going to get a pool noodle. Hopefully the ones I ordered on Amazon are big enough to cover this whole thing. It's going to be a black one held together with zip ties. I know it might look kind of weird, but it's uh, gonna help with some of the waterproofing of these connections. Not that I plan to ever ride this really out in the rain, but I feel like that's necessary. <laughs> I feel like that's necessary. I took off my mountain bike tire. I ordered this Schwinn tire. Whoop, let me get better lighting here. I ordered this Schwinn tire off the internet for a smoother ride. I also put this rack on, as you've seen in previous videos, and the bag came with some motor, but let's check out this battery. Okay, so I zip tied the battery down. This one needs to be tight, and I have a few more zip ties to do that. I zip tied it down by puncturing holes through the case and strapping it on to the rack. This is the charging unit, which actually, or the charging port, which actually looks like an audio unit. <clears throat> and then this is how you plug in the battery. I just leave that plugged in, and then at night, I charge the battery. It does take about 10 hours to charge, which seems a bit excessive, but um, when I bought the battery, they said that that would be the best way to expand the length of the battery is by a slower charge. So it takes about 10 hours. Let's see, what else did I do? That's pretty much it as far as modifications go. 
Uh, my father-in-law mounted this. Uh, we tuned up the bike the other night so the brakes would work. Um, I had the gear shifter tuned up, but it seems to be stuck again. But not like that really matters, other than if I run out of batteries and I need to pedal. But yeah, here's the bike. Let me show you the first test ride. Roll clip. This is the inaugural ride of my DIY e-bike. You ready? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that little test ride. Now let's uh, take this thing out of here. Let's go for another spin. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> this thing is so rad. So there you have it folks, my DIY e-bike. All the parts were ordered by me, assembled on the bike by me, and I love this thing. It's an awesome commuter. Still a few more tweaks that I need to do. I uh, <clears throat> had it up on a stand doing a tune-up just the other day, but I noticed a problem over here the cable to my rear brakes are going out I'm just wondering if that's that's way too much power to handle so I got to get that fixed or that's going to create a dangerous situation uh, driving this thing going 30 miles an hour so I got to update the brake cables um, gonna modify this grip because it's different and probably get a new comfortable seat and then I'll do that range test that I promised. But for now, it's like 98% perfect and a ton of fun. Thanks for watching, and I hope you join me next time. Oh yeah, and don't forget to wear a helmet. <laughs>